on this project, I'm wanting to refinish this paint. As you can tell, there were some deep scratches in it, pretty good scuff marks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to varnish off all this stain and the finish that's on it. I started with 80 grit sandpaper and I'll work my way up to about 220 and before I put the stain on it. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like after I get the stain on it. I'm not going to go through the whole video as, I, as I'm sanding on it. It's just going to take a long time to sand it. And then once I get it sanded, I'll put the stain on it and then I'll put a few coats of polyurethane on it. And then show you what it looks like. But you always want to sand going in the direction of the drains of the wood. You want to make sure that you get all the marks off of it. And I'll be back to, to finish this later and show you what it looks like. Well, the sanding is going okay, but it's going to take a lot of sanding. And I mean a lot of sanding. Just to get the varnish and the stain off. And then I'll go back and do a fine sanding after I get it all off. And then I'll add the stain and polyurethane. I'll probably show you what it looks like when it's finished. As I've probably got at least the rest of today and tomorrow to, to sand it. And then I'll stain it and then put the polyurethane on it. But I'll show you what it looks like once I'm finished. So I'll be back. Okay. I just got done sanding with 80 grit sandpaper, and now I'm going to switch to a sander. Uh, I put 100 grit on here. The reason I'm going to switch to an electric sander instead of using it by hand is I've got many more years behind me than I have ahead of me, so I just want to get this done too. Um, but it's getting down to the wood as far as the, I'll dust this off and then I'll switch to the sander. Now this whole thing is not a table, it's just, you know, I laid it on top of another table to work with it. Uh, but I'm going to do the edges and the sides. I won't be back until I put the stain on it, but I just kind of wanted to show you that I was switching to an electric sander. Um, of course, I'll clean this off. Come get a... Come get a picture of this where it's getting down to the wood. As you can see, it's getting down to the wood now, so I'll I'll wipe this all off and then I'll start with the belt sander. And I'll be back to show the progress later. Okay, I got it all wiped down and like I said, I'm gonna switch to this electric sander. I think I referred to it as a belt sander by accident last time, but it's just a vibrating sander. Put a hundred grit sandpaper on it. I did sand it by hand. Uh to get most of the outer finish off of it. Now I'm getting down to the wood. But as you can tell, there's some pretty good scratches in it. And I'd like to get this done before I end up leaving this world, so I'm going to switch to something a little faster, and there's the bigger scratches up here, but I should get all that off. I may, after I get this all sanded down, decide not even to restain it. But I'll make that determination later. I also got a bigger rag to wipe off the dust with. But this is my first time trying something this big, so I'm learning as I go. I will be back for another update. Well, I'm not too sure how the electric sander is doing compared to the... I may have to switch to a different grit. Let me wipe this down and we'll see how we're looking so far. I'm just going to have to be patient and take my time. 
Looks like it is coming off a little bit better. I can't, of course, put near as much pressure on this electric sander as I could my hand sander, the little my homemade block sander that I made out of the but that's about what it started like to begin with and this is where I am now looks like there is some paint on it and some pretty good scratches of course I haven't got up there yet but the scratches appear to be coming off pretty well I'll just keep at it. Okay, as I kind of figured, the sanding is taking an awfully long time, even with this electric sander. I did switch to 60 grit sandpaper, which I originally sanded with uh, by hand, 80 grit, kind of most of the top of the surface off of it to begin with. But it, what I thought was paint, that was maybe somebody spilt paint on it, ends up being some type of a wood filler, I think. But it's pretty deep in in several places. I've wiped off some of the spots that that had it and then I left some of the others, but it appears to be some type of a wood filler. So I think that there's no doubt I'm gonna restain this after I get it done. There's still some pretty good scratches in it. And I'm not done sanding yet, it's just going to take a long time. Sorry for the movement. I'm more balanced on my leg, but I'm far from perfect. But that appears to be some type of a wood filler. And I originally thought it was paint. So once I get it all down, I'm going to stain it, and then I'll put some polyurethane on it and see how it turns out. Of course, I'll need to go up from 60 to 100, and 120, and 150, and we'll see what happens from there. Still much, much more sanding to do. Okay, I went back to sanding this by hand. The electric sander just wasn't getting it. That's after about seven hours on and off with an electric sander. And it just wasn't getting all the stain off. This was heavily stained. Probably more than one time. It's got a wood filler in it. But I switched to a, a sanding belt and cut it off. Instead of using sandpaper where it lasts longer and maybe a little stronger, but I'm sanding by hand now, and I went to a 40 grit where I was using 60 and 80 with the electric sander. But there were some really deep scratches in it, and I wanted to get them out. And I know the wood, there's some different color wood, has some different contrast to the wood, and I want to kind of keep that when I'm finished. So I've got to get all that stain off. But it looked like, you know, it got scratched or whatever before and then they just went over and stained it again and again and again. So it's still up in the air yet whether I'll put a polyurethane straight over this or I'll stain it and put a polyurethane on it. But this is the belt that I cut up. And it is a 40 grit belt. <clears throat> That'll let me have two of them. But it's getting down pretty good. Now I can, I can smooth out whatever scratches that 40 grit gives me. But I wasn't going to be able to smooth out those deep gouges and stuff that was in this thing with that electric sander. I've got to apply some pressure on it. So that's what I'm doing with that. I 
I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Well, this seems to be working really good, as you can tell. There's some really nice looking wood down in here. And there is wood filler in some spots. But at least all the big scratches and stuff are getting out of it. It looks like someone either painted this a lot, stained it a lot, or both. Um, but I'm going to try to take it back to the natural wood color. As you can tell, you know, it's made of different slabs of wood. And it's got different color contrasts to it. So I'm going to try to save that. Of course, all these scratches will come out of it. And I still have some heaviness to get off here yet, but it's coming along pretty good, and then I'll go back to the electric sander and fine sand it down. Okay, I finally got all the finish and the varnish and the stain and the paint, but I did not get all the wood filler out of it. There's still a couple spots with that in there. But now I'm going to start sanding with the, an electric vibrating sander and move up in grit as I've got all the outer portion of this off. Sort of looks like an old meat block.
I'm not too far from getting done with it once I get it all smooth. This is about 13 hours of sanding. Of course, seven and a half hours of that was learning that I should have never used that vibrating sander to begin with. This is over a three three day period. Still have some sanding to do on the outside. That's what the legs look like. So that was the original color to start off with. Well, I'm going up in grit now. I've changed to an 80. And I took off the 40 that I had on there to get all the heaviness off. Now I'm out to smooth it up. I'll take it to 150. It'll be good and smooth by then, hopefully. I was going to switch to an electric sander, but I don't think that's just going to work the way I want it to. The one I have is about more out. And it just wasn't getting it early on, so I'll just finish this like this. And I'll be back to show you the results. Okay, I've got me a different sander. Man, I wish that I had this gym to begin with. But that's the lessons you learn when you try something new. I, I'm down, I'm up to 120 grit now. And I had sanded with 100 grit, but this thing here, in about 20 minutes, can do what I did in about 3 hours with my hand sander. But it's really getting smooth and it's, it's down to the wood. I'll go up to 150, and then I'll make a decision on what I'm going to do. I may just leave the legs a dark color and leave the top natural color, and then just put a, a gloss over both of them. But I just wanted to show you that I switched to a different sander now, and this thing is... finished with the sanding. I may leave these legs that color. This is the original color that this table started out like. And I sanded it all the way down. And I may take this off and leave it natural color too. I need to at least touch it up if I don't do that. But buying that other sander really helped. This is what it's going to look like once I uh, put the top coat on it. It's going to have real nice colors to it. I've been cleaning the pores with mineral spirits. That'll evaporate. But in a few places there's still some of that wood filler. Knots. Just lots and lots of character. So I, I will add the polyurethane. And then decide what I want to do with the legs. Again, that's what the table color started out like. Okay, I'm sanding the legs now. This is my last leg. Actually, this is my last leg. 
But this is the last leg I have to sand. Uh, I did find a, a problem with this one. It's got some type of filler in it, the same type of filler that the table had in it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fine sand these once I get these done. These three are pretty much done other than using I'm going to use an orbit, orbit sander and fine sand these down. And then I'm going to restain this. I'm going to restain the skirt of the table. But I'm going to leave the top of the table the natural color. And I'll be back to show you what it continues to look like until I get done. Okay, believe it or not, I am finally done with all the sanding. The legs are all sanded. And yes, I did use the orbit sander, but I ended up, when I did the extreme fine sanding, I used a block of wood and, and just fine sanded it by hand. I don't think that there's, I don't think that a machine can do what our natural bodies can do, and it just looks better, in my opinion. Table's been done for a little while. I've had to take a couple breaks as I did other things, but overall, it took a long time to sand. Mostly because it, I had some learning experiences as I went along. I will stain the legs and the skirt. but I'm going to leave the top natural. Yes, I know there's a few spots where that wood filler still is, but I, I want to uh, reclaim the natural color of this top. The, the legs were kind of beaten up in several places, and it had some wood filler in it. And I'm sorry if I'm a little shaky or the movement's a little bad, but Overall, it's smooth. All the varnish, stain, paint, lots of the wood filler is gone. And as I said, I'm going to stain the side of it and the legs a brown color, but I'm going to leave that top a natural color. And I'm just going to coat it with polyurethane. I did sand the back of this. Not extremely well, but I did sand the back of it because I'm going to put a coat of water protectant on it, polyurethane. And I will be back as I proceed. Okay, I've restained the legs. Just wanted to take a video of something else that wasn't sanding. But I've wiped them down once. Yes, I know they're about as dark as they were before, but they're not all scratched up and beat up and the next thing I'll do is redo that skirt down there, but I am going to leave the top natural. At least since I'm this far along, I already know what I'm going to do with this. I really give it a good cleaning after I sanded everything. Now I believe it's going to look good with the high gloss finish on that top. I'll be back. Okay, I've added one coat of polyurethane to the bottom. You know, I just want to protect it from humidity or any kind of moisture or anything like that. I'll wait till this dries. Then I'll sand it just barely and I'll add one more coat to the bottom 
then that'll be that'll be plenty for the bottom. I just want to protect it from moisture. It's going to take a little while for this to dry. I didn't really want to video it as I was doing it because I didn't want it to set up on me as I was doing it. You all know how that works. I did place a a nice apron underneath the table to keep the top from getting scratched. I did a lot of work getting all those scratches out. I sure don't want to put another one back in it. It still has character of its own. There's some, you know, marks in it. Lots of knots. And of course, that wonderful wood filler that still is in some places. But this is the bottom. And I'll be back to show you what the top looks like when I'm finished. I did stain the skirt and the legs. Try to get one uniform color since I couldn't match the other one. And I've also put polyurethane on them as well. Okay, this is the second coat of polyurethane that I put on that. I'm using a water-based polyurethane. The first coat, as you can imagine, as much sanding that I've done, it absorbed really, really well. This is the second coat. I'm at least going to put four, possibly five coats of polyurethane on the top. I allowed the bottom to dry overnight. And I still place that cover on the top of that table because I didn't want to scratch the underside of this as well. Which it's not going to be seen, but I'm really liking the way it's turning out. I'll allow this one to dry like I did the first coat, and then I'll give this just a real slight sanding, and then I'll put another coat of polyurethane on it. But I just like the natural colors of this wood that came out. So I will be back. Okay, I've added the fifth coat of polyurethane, and we have a storm coming in, so I've had to slide this thing back. I will let it cure and finish drying, and I'll come back with one final video to show you what it looks like all put together. But again, this is the fifth coat of polyurethane. I sanded in between each coat with 240 sandpaper. And I sanded that by hand. I didn't use anything. I didn't want any bad scratches in it. But the wind's picking up, as you can tell. And the storm's coming in, so I had to slide this thing back. It'll be dry here in a few minutes. But then I'll let it cure overnight. Thanks for your patience as you've waited... Well, you viewed my sanding struggles that I had, but, you know, I did learn from this, so. Okay, the table's all done. There's two coats of polyurethane on the bottom. I put three coats on the legs, you know, just in case they get beat around a little bit more, but... There's three coats of polyurethane on the legs, and there's two on the underside of the table. Uh, the skirt got three coats of polyurethane, as did the legs. 
but I will turn this over and show you the the top portion. Okay, there's five coats of polyurethane on the tabletop, and I sanded in between each coat with 240 sandpaper with a block sander. I didn't use an orbit sander or a vibrator. I used I did it by hand, very lightly, because I just want to make it real smooth. But I did recapture the, the colors of this. has lots of knots in it and yes there's still some of that wood filler that's in some of those places but I think it turned out very good I had a tremendous amount of learning experience about sanding and sanding by hand was the best way for me to take that original stuff off the outside of it. Thanks for looking, everybody.